work to be done on that one to bring it back to its original glory. But um, it was a rigid fan in lovely ivory uh, stick there. And on the other side, you'll see that it has a picture here with little faces on it, um, with little tiny figures. Now, each little figure is a, um, a, a little mandarin who's got a, a little kimono on, which is actually applied silks onto this fan. And then the faces are made of ivory in the case of this fan. But in the case of the other mandarin fans which were made, mainly for export to Europe, um, they were these fans here in these glorious boxes. And you can see the boxes here. I don't know if mm. you can get a, a good view of that box. It's an attractive there. box. Yes, it's lovely. And you can see it sort of has lovely lacquer work on the top. Does the fact and that it's in its original box make it more valuable? Well, certainly, yes. It's nice to get them in their box. And this one is a, a mandarin fan here, which has, uh, 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 has got um, uh, tortoiseshell on it, whilst this one down here, which I'll open up for you because they're both very similar, this one here, this has got um, sandalwood on it. H have a sniff of that. Mm. Mm. Nice, isn't it? Mm, you can go around sniffing all my antiques if you like. Yes. <laughs> well, the, After all, uh, I mean, it must be very old, but it's still yes. smelling nice. Yes, it's amazing. Sweetly. This is a, a, a lovely fan. It's uh, dated about 1800, and to think it's still got that sandalwood pong about it is yes. really quite amazing. Yes, you can get quite high on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you <Right>. should know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's lovely. It's a paper fan, and then the faces on it are not made of ivory. These ones are made of fingernails, and I, I think that's you know, sort of, ugh, you think, really? they're horrible, you know, fingernails. But what you must remember is that the Chinese used to work on the... It sounds the, like a torture. Well, it does, doesn't it, a bit, but it's not quite like that at all. Um, the, the, the Chinese always believed in having very large families, so they, they'd end up at the top of the pyramid, and they then had the sons and the daughters, and they then have all their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren, like great sort of pyramid, and they wouldn't do anything for themselves. And I mean, they wouldn't do but anything for themselves, with yes. the result that they actually used to grow great long fingernails. And you've probably seen pictures of them with the little black hoods over their fingernails, and eventually when they fell off, they would uh, find themselves here on these sort of fans. Oh, I see. At least that's the nice story that I've heard <laughs> about it, so uh, oh, we won't dear. go into any others. And so we buy that for today anyway, buy absolutely. that story. Absolutely. Right, that's an exquisite one down there. Yes, it? going down to the front table down here, you have a... a, a is it ivory? Yes, it is. Um, I wonder, before we go on to that particular fan, can I just explain something? You'll see it's a different type of fan. If I just show you here on one that I've got in pieces, could, uh, could we just see, have a look at this first? As you'll see, this is a, 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 an 18th century fan sticks and guards. Now, the, the guards are the outside pieces. They're those pieces that I'm moving just here at the end and the end, the two pieces at the end. And then you've got the actual sticks in the middle, or brins, which are there. And this has had its leaf removed because the leaf has disintegrated and a new leaf has got to be put back onto it. Mm. And um, the, this is the normal type of fan that you normally expect, to have a, a leaf and to have guards and sticks. But down there at the front, going back down to the front table again, mm. you will see that that is what is known as a brise fan, B-R-I-S-E. And um, the brise fan has the whole of the stick continues up to the top and it becomes the leaf. So and it's then connected together with the, the ribbon that you can see there. But if you can pan in very closely on that, you'll see the workmanship which is in there. And for instance, look at the monogram. And you used to send your initials over to China to be carved into the actual piece of ivory, mm -hmm. um, rather like they used to send over the, your coat of arms for armorial China. And you'll be able to see the little tiny strands in there. And each one is a little tiny slither of ivory. And it would used to be carved under warm water with little tiny instruments. And, and, and that's how they got it so fine. And the the other fan, just to the other side of it, if you can just pan on there, you can see that is fretwork. That is a, a very, very fine saw is used to make that uh, uh, type of work. And both those fans are uh, 18th century. In other words, they're two, over 200 years old. Which is the oldest fan you have? Um, the oldest fan I've got uh, is ooh, about 18, uh, 1703, 1705, that sort of date. But in fact, I didn't bring it today because no. it's in such terrible condition. Does the yeah. fact that it's old make it more valuable than anything else or other other considerations? Um, oh, well, obviously, if it's studded with diamonds, it's, it's sort of yes. rather interesting, rather valuable. But also, it's rarity value. There's some printed fans that I have here which are very, very rare indeed because there are very few of them left, although mm. they don't look very spectacular, but they didn't last very long. Yeah. Right, well, a few more we'd like to have a quick look right. at. Would very quick. We must rush through, I'm afraid. I know. It's always the same with timing and my talking. But this is a <laughs> decoupe fan. This is a cutout fan here. And here you would, in fact, see the ladies would buy uh, a little kit and they would stamp out these little designs in it uh, in front of the far side. Mm. And uh, it's known as decoupe, as a French 
French word, and they're very fragile. They do, of course, break to pieces. But can I show you? But before we go on to that, I think there is a language of the fan, isn't there? There is. Yes, indeed. And we've, we've got Sharon here, and she's going to tell us what all the movements are, or the little signs are. That's right. Yes, you know them already. I do. Course. I do indeed. So we'll see how it goes. Well, oh, well, there's Sharon up there. Well, I'm obviously going to have to be very careful indeed when talking to Sharon, because with that fast wave, that means that she's engaged. But if she was waving slowly, very, very slowly, well, then I've got to be even more careful because she's married. But if she was holding it uh, stationary, well, then I'm in with a chance. She's, uh, not, <laughs> <laughs> she's not caught. Right. Um, Yes. Now, let's see what she's going to do next. Ah, well, now I'm in real trouble. I think I'll push off now, Eleanor, because uh, that means um, I no longer wish to be friends with you. So uh, that's the closed fan on the left ear. That's a, that's a real no-no, and I've really had it now. So these demure looks, oh, really, yes. and those demure actions actually have a very hard message, don't oh, they? Oh, indeed. It's, it's rather like their own semaphore. Now she's twirling the fan in her left hand, and that is really uh, quite a, 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 an important one for a young couple because that means, look out, chaps, we're being watched. Uh -huh. So uh, we're right. really careful there. Mm. Yes, and, uh, spied on. And then we're going to watch, oh, heavens, well, uh, my wife is watching this program, so I'm going to have to be extremely careful because what she's saying is, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now let's see what she's going to do, see if she can remember it. Ah, yes, the closed fan and the bottom little finger extended means, well, there we go, goodbye, nice knowing you. So there we go, goodbye, nice knowing you. But Thank it is you, goodbye, Sharon. not au revoir. It's, it's, it's goodbye, I'm afraid. Yes, there is another one, which is uh, we'll meet again. Okay. Yes, but that is well, goodbye in a nice way. That's all we have time for, I'm afraid. It's goodbye from us. We, it's been lovely having you. And um, I hope you come again. Soon. Well, before we close, can, can I just show you one little fan, which is my sort of special fan. Can, yes. uh, have we got time to do it, if Quickly. I'm very, very yes. quick? Well, this is a Vernie Martin fan of about 1720, and it's the best fan I have, and you're going to have to really pan in close. This is a Brise fan. It's painted on ivory sheets. You can oh. see even the little faces uh, that are all beautifully painted in there, and it's a, a, a very early French fan, very, very rare indeed, and every fan collector's choice, and on the back, another beautiful scene as well. Wonderful. I don't think it's ever been used. Uh, well, it's beautiful, isn't it? Thank Absolutely. you very much for bringing your collection to show today. Not at all. Patrick Edgington, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, my next guest comes from Aberystwyth, but since the early part of this year has been living in Paris, and earning a living as a bluebell girl in the world-famous Lido de Paris. We thought you'd like to see her in one of the fantastic costumes for which the Lido is famous. So here, ladies and gentlemen, is Rachel Williams. <laughs> Rachel is five foot ten and so is too tall for the Royal Ballet, for which she had auditions. She attended the Arts Education School and there studied dance, drama and singing. Prior to her job at the Lido de Paris, Rachel worked for two summer seasons at Theatre de Werin in Aberystwyth. She was on a weekend holiday in Paris when she phoned the Lido and asked them for an audition. She joined a rehearsal on the stage and the outcome is that she's been working as a bluebell girl since February of this year. being a bluebell girl in a couple of minutes' time. Don't go away now. <laughs>